Welcome to another How To Dino video. Today we will go through part 2 of custom commands. Let's head over to the dashboard and create a new custom command. We will only cover the basics of creating custom commands in this video. If you'd like to see me create a specific command, let me know what the command should do in the comment section. Since this is a demonstration, I'll title the custom command test. If we go down and click on variable reference, we get a list of variables we can use. In order to create a command, we can take any one of these variables or more and input them into the response box. Please note that some variables may require extra information. Now, let's go to the server and make sure the command works. Let's edit our test command and have it display the channel we're running the command from. And it's as simple as that. Custom commands can be a very powerful tool for servers and can become complex. For the next example, let's create a popular command that makes Dino repeat what we say. Let's create the new command and title it say. In order to get Dino to repeat what we say, we must use a variable that can actively receive input. Let's use the dollar sign number variable. In this example we will go up to dollar sign 3. This means Dino will only repeat the first three words you say after the command name. As you can see, if we don't have three words, Dino will use the undefined filler since we didn't give Dino enough to say. To fix this we must use dollar sign one plus. The plus means Dino will repeat everything set after the command name. It worked. We no longer get undefined. And Dino will say everything after the command name. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.